Don't tell your mother Kiss one another Die for each other We're cool for the summer So, because there are a few assholes out there, some haters, that really just decide that because I happen to post a video about a video that was posted by another YouTuber who happened to have used some material and basically based her help to you know base her opinion off of the video that was done by another uh, YouTuber that people you know who by the way happened to be a friend of hers somehow that's her plagiarizing and somehow that's somehow grounds to discredit whatever she says and grounds to discredit because I used you know her video as a as basically a canvas so that I could basically better give my opinion somehow that discredits me in some case let me put these people to this these haters to rest just because I happen to use a particular youtuber to better put my opinion out there does not discredit me in the slightest in fact it probably helps me as a youtuber as a giving my own personal opinion to have something to go on and that was simply what I was trying to do what Jacqueline Glenn said and essentially what was also said by theoretical bullshit is essentially the same opinion that I have and I think that pretty much most YouTubers and most sane minded people actually have it's the fact that Kim Davis is a bitch and the whole fact is, is that I'm getting flack for all this simply because I happen to use the backdrop of someone that people are basically slandering as being a plagiarist now I don't know much about what's been going on with all this but let me first point out something that's a personal opinion of mine this is YouTube plagiarism does not exist on YouTube unless of course you're some professional journalist or some professional you know some sort of person out there there's no real such thing as plagiarism on YouTube. There's what we call private trust at the very max. And every time that you download a video or use a person's video within your um, within your video, you're accepting the terms and conditions not only of YouTube but the terms and conditions under private trust. So, for example, I have used you know from time to time I will often use Jason Unruh the Maoist Rebel News as a backdrop for my own personal opinions because there are a lot of things that I agree with Jason Unruh on there's some stuff I don't agree with him on same with Scottish Socialist I would use some of these these people as some canvases sometimes do to do my videos I credit them yes most of the time do I even use some of their videos within my own videos? Yes, I do. Because I accept the private trust conditions under YouTube's guidelines. I'm not plagiarizing. In fact, most of the time, if I'm using anybody's material, I usually try to cite them as a source. I also try to back up my own mouth with other sources, which I did. When I use Jacqueline Glenn as a canvas, I use that as my basic starting point. I, com I was basically giving commentary to her response to, to Kim Davis, and essentially her and theoretical bullshit's uh, comments on Kim Davis. I don't think that, that that somehow discredits me at all. I was simply giving commentary to something that was already said, that was to something that was already said. I was just giving my input and I was using Jacqueline Glenn's thing as a backdrop. I don't see why I need to defend myself or why I should even have to, you know, even spend time going after the haters because frankly, whatever you want to believe about me, that's fine. If you don't want to watch my channel and you think that I'm full of horseshit, I'm not forcing you to watch it. Frankly, 
I think that you know the whole idea of the plagiarism on YouTube is part another just part of that drama and that social justice warrior, you know, crap that exists within you know the social media community. And I accept it. I have to deal with it whether I like it or not. But essentially, that's what it is. It's social justice warrior BS. And first of all. Theoretical Bullshit and Jacqueline Glenn are friends. They know each other. I'm pretty sure the Theoretical Bullshit is fine with it. I don't really see him raising much of a fuss over it. You know, so... The only people that are getting pissed off are the fucking... is the fucking community. And that's the thing that really irritates me. If this was Theoretical Bullshit getting pissed over it, then I would understand. And then I would see some difference in it. But at the same time, that doesn't affect me. I was already giving giving my own personal opinion, and I backed it up with my own sources. I did not just cite um, I didn't just cite Jacqueline Glenn as my backdrop. I also gave my own informative opinion on the issue as well within that hour and thirty minute video. In fact, there was probably quite a few bits where I actually gave my own my own personal opinion in fact I probably contributed more content on my own than I did than just running off of Jacqueline's video in fact there was also certain areas where I even critiqued Jacqueline for some of her opinions but for the most part I still stayed true to the actual topic at hand which was Kim Davis and somehow though I, because I used Jacqueline Glenn as a backdrop None of that matters because oh they you can just I can just be discredited because of anything. Well, you know what? Fuck you, bastards. Fuck you up the ass. You know I'm here doing my thing, and you come along and you basically have to shit on everything, you try to discredit everything. You try to discredit everything just because I used someone that you believe is a plagiarist. Well, whoop de fucking do ya, little social justice warrior twat. You know, I don't care. I can understand why certain people, like like uh, Jason Unru, finally just said, you know what, I don't give two fucks anymore about people. And you know what, neither am I. I have got a shortage of fucks anymore. I don't care if you like me or hate me. I don't care whether you watch me or not. I'm here. I'm giving my own personal analysis, my own thoughts and opinions on current events and issues, on political thought, political ideology, different things. I see true to my word when I say that this is NorCal Corner, that it's, a t uh, that it's always biased, slightly unbalanced, attention deficient, exposing the truth. I stay true to those words. I am biased. I will not muddle around with it. I can be biased, but at the same time I still try to give informative opinions. I'm the information that's here is going to be a little off is going to be a little off balance. You know, I might say, you know, I'm always here basically saying that you know, I'm not exactly the most stable person. I'm also I'm an amateur journalist, an amateur commentate political commentator on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber for God's sakes. You know I'm not doing this in some professional fucking studio or some uh, some news bureau down the street. I'm not doing that shit. You know this isn't fucking RT. This isn't Al Jazeera. If you want Al Jazeera and RT, go to those channels. You know, I'm att attention deficient. I'm fucking squirrely as hell. You know, I could be talking about something and all of a sudden we're off on a little side street. It's not always relevant, but we get back to where we're going. And exposing the truth, I have never lied to my audience. I never will. And I never mislead my audience. I never try to tell them something that isn't based on fact. I usually try to give an informative opinion or my own personal opinion on certain things. And whenever I do 
do some sort of piece of, you know, piece of tripe that I have to deal with, I usually have sources and I back up my mouth. And in the video that I did, where I used Jacqueline as a backdrop, I still gave more of my own opinion, more of my own original content, and by doing so, I also cited my sources. And I didn't just cite a Wikipedia source, I actually went to those little things that below called references, and I actually dug up some actual articles. So I actually included, and I included those articles in the description. I also credited Theoretical Bullshit, put his video in, in there too, and people could make up their minds by watching her video, his video, my video, and then look, going through the whatever sources were in either. So, the fact that I'm being criticized for all this, frankly, is nothing more than a red herring. It's nothing more than to distract people and give some, you know, go off on some weird runaround that doesn't mean shit to the original video that I posted. And to say that I can be discredited or that Jacqueline can be discredited because of you know, because of the videos that, that the, vid, the video that I used or the fact that she quote unquote plagiarized theoretical bullshit, suddenly that all that that can just all be disc, you know, that whole information about Kim Davis can be just discredited. No, that's a straw man, and I am not afraid to point these bastards out who try to undermine and call into question the credibility of myself or any other YouTuber just because of some social justice warrior's high horse that they won't get off of. So you know what? I'm done. I'm done playing this little ring around the rosy BS. If you don't like me, get the fuck off. You know, I could really care less. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. And the people that actually really care about my channel that care about watching my videos and actually like watching me, like watching my drivel, me babble on and rant on and, you know, tune in to actually, you know, get some information about it, about topics that may or may not be in the media, then those are the people that are going to continue staying faithful and loyal. And I appreciate those people. I love you guys. You know, those are the people, my audience continues to watch me for a reason. And I'm never going to lead them astray. I've never, you know, I'm never going to say anything that's not factual. And I'm always going to be here covering what I do, covering the stories that matter, and doing what I do best. And that's providing the best source of information that I possibly can for you guys. You know, and for those haters that don't like it, feel free to click the fucking close out button or exit the damn video. You're not being forced to watch it. But at the same time, you know what? Gotta give it up to you. You gave me that view, you gave you took the time to write that comment, so obviously you care about something. But and you know what? You're my biggest fucking fans because you're also because you're basically my you know, help me to improve on where I need to improve on. But frankly, I could give a f less of a fuck about some nobody that doesn't, you know, that doesn't even have the balls to, you know, a at least make a damn video calling me out or trying to debunk any of the things about Kim Davis said by me, Jack or theoretical bullshit, or anybody that has made comments about it. You know, I don't see anybody making any video about that. So, you know what? I don't give a crap about you, little whatever your fuck name is, LeVon, Le Le whatever. I don't give a crap about you. You know, I don't, I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you think that I'm full of shit or not. What I said is what I said. I'm standing by it. And unless, of course, you've got something to debunk me with, then piss off. I'm done. I'm tired of playing this, this, 
crappy game with people, you know? So, yeah, I could give less of a fuck. I'm not here to please anybody. And I'm not going to try to please anybody anymore. I'm done. I'm going to continue making my content, making videos that I want to do for my audience, making videos that my audience wants to see. I'm going to continue making making the videos that I've done for the last four fucking years. And I don't give a goddamn if you don't like me. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and I'm going to be here for a long ass time. Peace out, bitches.